Hello and welcome everybody. The man renounced Islam. This is also the opinion of Ibn Abbas according to the report of Al-Kalbi. Okay, so we can finally start. I'd like to share some thoughts. Um, this is, yes, of course, this is attributed to Ibn Abbas by Al-Kalbi. Who is Al-Kalbi? Um, it's not David Wood. Uh, Al-Kalbi is Muhammad ibn Sa'ib. Uh, Al-Kalbi, who was uh, an early Mufassir, um, and of course as Indiq as well. Um, I'm going to be reading some parts from uh, Tahdib al-Tahdib by Ibn Hajar. Um, he quotes uh, Layth ibn Abi Sulaym, who says that in Al-Kufa there were two liars. Of course, there are more than two liars in Al-Kufa. However, the two main liars, one of them is Al-Kalbi. Uh, Zaida says there are three people that I will not narrate anything from, one of them is Al-Kalbi. He says that when uh, he was, he says that Al-Kalbi once, when sick, um, got so sick that he forgot all of his narrations. So what he did was he went to the household, or one of the members of the household of the Prophet, peace be upon him, who spat into his mouth, and due to that spit, he um, magically remembered everything that he had forgotten. Zaida, who is an early scholar, says, Due to this, I will never narrate from Al-Kalbi. Abu Awana said, I heard Al-Kalbi narrate something that was kufr. Uh, and when I spoke to him and when I asked him about it, he denied ever saying it. Abu Amr bin Ala says, I swear by Allah that Al-Kalbi is a kafir. Sufyan al-Thawri says that Al-Kalbi said, Whatever I narrate from Abu Salih, from Ibn Abbas, is a lie. So you have Al-Kalbi himself admitting that he used to lie um, in regards to what he narrated through to Ibn Abbas. Abu Hatim al-Razi says that there's a consensus to reject the narrations of Al-Kalbi. Al-Jawzajani said that he's a liar, and Al-Hakim said that Al-Kalbi narrated from Abu Saleh fabrications, and so on and so forth. Okay, let's start. He said Al-Kalbi is a liar and we nobody take his story. But let's see if it's only Al-Kalbi who narrate the story or we have other narrations. First book I'm going to quote is As-Sarib Al-Maslul Ala Shatim Al-Rasul. The author of this book is Ibn Taymiyyah. He said in the page 91, the Prophet said, on the day of the conquest of Mecca, whoever takes uh, Abdullah bin Abi Sarh, let him strike his neck wherever he will found him. Ever if, even if he was holding on into the Kaaba clothes. Here, Akhrajahu Ahmed fi Musnadi. So this one is in Imam Ahmed and it's Sahih. Ibn Taymiyyah as well said, he said the Kalbi narrated from Ibn Abi Salih, from Ibn Abbas, the same the story. So he narrated, Al Kalbi narrated from Abi Salih, from Ibn Abbas. This story, and we read here, Surah 22, verse 12 and 14, when he said, Tabarak Allah, Ahsan al Khaliqin, the best be who's creator. Uh, Al Kalbi add this narration and he mixed it up with uh, uh, Ibn Al Khattal. So Ibn Taymiyyah said this one is a weak narration because the famous one is that Omar who said this one. So Ibn Taymiyyah said the narration from Al Kalbi from Ibn Abbas is not true because he mixed it up with uh, Ibn Al Khattal. To show you the misleading he make here, we come to Kitab Takhrij al Atar Wal Ahadith al Zaylai, part 1, page 445. He said to his statement, he apostatized from Islam and it was mentioned in this incident that it was from Ibn al Khattal. It comes to the forgiving, the merciful to compassion. Uh, forgiveness. So this is the statement of Abu al-Khattal and uh, Ibn al-Kalbi who mixed this story from uh, the story that uh, Umar Ibn al-Khattab narrated. The next source I'm going to quote here is the same author that uh, 
this guy quote from uh, but is in the French book called Al Isaba fi Tamiz bayna Sahaba. So it's like shooting and making difference between the Sahaba. On we read here. Yazid al Nahwi on the authority of Ikrima on the authority of Ibn Abbas. So Ibn Abbas who narrated this hadith, he said Ibn Abi Sarh used to write to the Messenger of God, may God be pleased with him and grant him peace. So Satan remove him, just mean uh, inflict him or sin him. So the, uh, he joined the infidel. So the Prophet, my God, be pleased with him and granted him peace, commanded him to be killed. So Uthman, he protected him and hide him in his house. Ali ibn uh, Jadan, on the authority of Ibn al Musayyib, that the Messenger of God commanded the killing of Ibn uh, Abi Sarh on the day of the conquest of Mecca. So Uthman in intercede and save him even Hazar al asqalani said this hadith is in abi dawood sunan abi dawood well ibn sa'd and tariq ibn al musayyib from ibn al musayyib he said and he said another hadith rawa ibn sa'd from ibn sa'd from ibn al musayyib he said when one man from the Ansar he said if I see Ibn Sarh I will kill him for he said same as that in Mus'ab bin Ab Mus'ab bin Sa'd and Abi and Adara Qutni the biggest scholar in the Islamic scholarly Adara Qutni min Hadith Sa'd he, is the, uh, he narrated the same Hadith on Abi Sarh from Yarbu al Makhzumi Nahwa Dalik, same as well. This say, and Tariq al Hakam ibn Malik, from the way ibn al Hakam ibn Malik, from Qatada, from Anas ibn Malik, Bima Mana, yani be the meaning as same the hadith. So the hadith is authentic. The next book is from the from an author called Al Dhabi. The book is called Sirat al A'lam wa Nubala. When he talk about Abdullah bin Sa'd bin Abi Sarh, he, he narrate the same hadith, the meaning that I read earlier here. And he same same thing and the same same story as David would say, but a little bit different. The story if an Abi Sa'd is coming to different books in the Sunnah. There is a book, uh, Abi Dawood, as Sijistani, Sunan Abi Dawood. Uh, so the page 128 the same uh, thing Abu Sarh Hakim uh, al-Naysaburi Mustadrak an sahihain Kitab al-Maghazi was saraya the part 3 page 45 Al-Bayhaqi the Faqih al-Bayhaqi in uh, Sunan al-Kubra the biggest Sunan Kitab uh, the apostate book he said this one in the part 8 uh, the page 341 same thing he's apostate and go to the go to the Quraysh uh, Ibn Kathir as well uh, bring this story in uh, the beginning and the end in, in the year 11 from the emigration the book of Wahi wa the page uh, 346 the part 8 part 8 346 Ibn Kathir as well in another book in the Sira and Nabawiya year 15 he he do he now write this hadith as well in the part 4 page 689 Al Qurtubi in his tafsir as well now write this one in the page 174 so we have a dozens here books and narration from tafsir thank you guys for watching and see you again